What is up, sons? It's Blind Run once again with Son of a Tech. It's been a while. It's been a while, you sexy beasts. We have a whole bunch of footage from last weekend that I'm sifting through moto vlog wise. Today, we're going to catch you up on everything going on with the car. So, for anybody that's not aware, I have a 2002 Volkswagen GTI 1.8T and I blew the turbo on it a couple years back and I just got the turbo put back on along with a whole bunch of other stuff. So, there's a huge laundry list. We'll go over that and then we'll go over some of the other problems I'm having now. So the huge laundry list was like, let's see, um, wheel bearings, brake pads, caliper rebuilds, um, shit, coolant reservoir, which is pretty common on those because they get all yellow. So you, then you get in, uh, well, mine, the, the little float broke on it so you know that's a thing and what else i hate sitting at these stops hold on there we go now we're safe now we're moving nobody can run into us from behind um shoot uh, i'm trying to think i did do wheel centering plates for the rear uh so they're not so tucked up in the front actually turned out to look pretty nice course the camber's off so I camber camber I know that there's one way that you say it and another way that annoys people so I have to say it both ways tell me which one you prefer in the comment section down below that's a little off on the rear I need some adjustment plates so I can do that but I'm not too worried about it right now it's not like they're towed out not it's not like aggressive slammed looking so i'm not too worried about that oh what else was on there um been dealing with a consistent uh exhaust leak due to a stud broken off on the turn down so the car has to go back to the shop that has to get pulled off and go get machined out and a new stud put on you can't buy that turn down anymore. We don't have, so we have the stock, what was it, stock hot side? No, stock cold side housing swapped on to a standard Garrett GT28 RS. Because the kit requires it for the three inch what is it? Three inch ceramic turbo inlet pipe. So that was a little awkward. Um, and then the original mount didn't work on that turbo. So they had fabbed something up. But now I went and got an alignment. And I was hearing some funky noises. So I took it back in. Fire, Firestone lifetime. There you go. Shout out Firestone. And the axle's rubbing on the turbo mount. So I gotta take it back in for that. And it just doesn't get any better. Um, so, because I wanted to. Sorry, I'm blanking. The traffic's bad today. Makes me think about other stuff. Uh, so because I wanted to essentially change the software or the tuning, I ordered Eurodyne. And I didn't brick my ECU, but the ECU stuck at like some stock tune with like 13 PSI. So it's slow as balls. And then now Eurodyne support seems to think that I have some sort of soldered chip and that nobody can flash it. Which means I have to find somebody from APR, hopefully. Um, I gotta pull the ECU tonight and see if it is actually soldered in or if 
Eurodyne's misreading something on the data I sent them and at least try to get my APR tuned back because <laughs> Eurodyne will be gone and then I'll just have to go standalone later if I want to go faster and lose cruise control um, which we'll decide on later I did do a Bluetooth deck in there also which is awesome it is like a uh, it's a stock Volkswagen Bluetooth conversion for Mark IVs. You can get them in single or dual DIN. They maintain like the factory look. Um, they're a little expensive. Like um, I, I want to say it was three hundred dollars on sale, and you're not getting a screen or anything. And you could get a screen or something, but I like having that kind of OE look still in that car especially because of the condition it's in so I'm happy with that that's like the only thing that's gone smooth on it though it's been a fucking nightmare so now my car is slow has an exhaust leak the turbo brackets rubbing on the CV axle cameras all fucked up on the rear and uh and uh it looks pretty though it looks pretty oh yeah and it, yeah it's slow it's slow as fuck and i hate slow as i ride a relatively slow motorcycle but whatever this motorcycle is fun it's different it's different okay my gti will always be slow It's a Volkswagen. Uh, I like to call it deceptively quick. So we're going to take San Pedro Avenue for a couple reasons. One, usually traffic's better. And two, I feel that it's a little bit safer this time of day. I wouldn't recommend cruising down 281. I think lane splitting is supposed to be legal in Texas at some point, but I don't know when, so I'm still waiting. Still waiting. So that covers everything in the GTI. I really honestly can't think of anything more at this point. Oh, oh, basic maintenance stuff that went okay. Let's go over that. Let's go over that. Basic maintenance and stuff, installs that went okay. Um, so, I had a leak on the power steering pump. I wouldn't say it went perfect, but it's fixed. We have the Hyundai behind us. No, 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 that's not what we're talking about. Yeah, power steering pump went in good. The only thing that went wrong is I ordered, I talked to chat, uh, ECS tuning chat. And they kind of put my shopping cart together. Two things didn't fit. The upper strut tower. Uh, a sway bar deal. Not really a sway bar. I don't know. I have all the rest of them. I have, I have upper and lower and rear. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I didn't have one there. It's just for looks. But it, it didn't fit. Um, and then the, the return line... Uh, from the power steering pump didn't fit called Volkswagen it's no longer in production yes I swear every time I re refresh the page it says bah, bah, bah. now determine ship date X days later whatever that is three days five days so I don't think that fucking parts coming in ever luckily the old return line wasn't really bad just the rubber part so that rubber hose was removed and clamped down and it should be good to go all while while that was being done i had lightweight pulleys from ecs installed so that includes of course the power steering pulley the ac compressor pulley 
and the crank pulley are all now lightweight pulleys. Woohoo! Uh, not nothing for the alternator. I don't even know if you can. I don't think they have one. That's okay. We don't need an alternator. We'll just remove it later. Go fast. And one of the things I did notice that did, and I was pretty happy with, is that car can shake pretty good because of the uh, polyurethane mounts. And so sitting in a stoplight with full cranked AC can kind of vibrate the shit out of your arms and your butt and your legs. And it seems to have calmed that down a little bit. Why, I guess, less unsprung weight I don't really know um, but that was kind of a little benefit and that seemed pretty good to me so that wraps up the car now that wraps up the car what are we doing to the bike nothing I do have a cell phone mount it's in my backpack I haven't installed it yet maybe I'll do that at lunch break I'm just leaving the bike stock I have like no desire to do anything to it because I like it right now and I need to get the car working that's about it that's about it so old cars old modified cars especially are super fucking difficult to deal with and I would highly recommend not doing it unless you love it otherwise it's gonna be a pain in the ass i never get to drive that thing every time i drive i just find something i need a fucking fix on it ah! i probably also need to do the cam chain tensioner that stupid say so we did the timing belt by the way oh forgot yeah timing belt i'm telling you guys dude, there's a shit done shit done shit ton of work that's been done to the gti at this point so gates timing belt uh, on the metal impella on the water pump per usual blah 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 um, but what I didn't do was that little stupid cam chain because Volkswagen has a single cam that runs off the timing belt and then the cam runs across it's a dual overhead cam and then because it's German they're like you know what we should do Instead of both cams running off of the timing belt, let's have one run off of a timing belt and the other run off of a chain. Because that makes fucking sense. So, <laughs> there's actually two tensioners that you have to worry about and two uh, drives, I guess. Driven items you, for, for just your cam timing. And that's going to be a chain. Uh on the it was a driver's side and then the belt on the passenger side there so um, gotta pull the valve cover and it's a little noisy not like crazy but um, we're gonna have to pull that it needs to be part of that service anyways part of the timing belt service probably well, I mean it lasts a little bit longer than timing belt there's 150,000 miles on the car and it's 17 years old that's one of the maintenance things I missed, so we need to pull that valve cover off and uh, pull that. Right, I think we don't even necessarily have to replace the chain, just inspect the chain. Probably just replace that stupid fucking tensioner. And there's like a special tool you gotta get. I think I have it laying around somewhere laying around somewhere in my garage that I cleaned by the way uh, so I cleaned my visor but I didn't clean this stupid mirror oh oh I got a sunburn riding last weekend my whole plan was to go to cycle gear and get this jacket at the end of the day that's what i was gonna do i finally i'm riding more wanted to get a jacket 
wasn't too worried about a sunburn. Oh, how wrong was I? I got burnt to shit. And I'm peeling like a like a damn snake. Oh, it's rough. So because I'm peeling like a snake and all that. Um, I'm wearing a jacket. No, I was going to wear the jacket no matter what. But we went out. Well, we were supposed to meet at 7. Homeboy at like midnight texted me. He was like, yo. What are you riding tomorrow? And I was like, woke up at 6. And I was like, yo. You were up too late. You're not awake, are you? To which, of course, he didn't reply. Because, of course, he wasn't awake. So I waited for about 45 minutes. And I was like, fuck it. Went home, checked fluids, kind of went over the bike uh, a second time because I had gone over the bike the night before. Make sure all the safety stuff's working. Shit. And, um, then met him back out at 9 and we rode till like 5 p.m. We went everywhere. We went to Nicole's Landing. That's up off like North 281. If you're ever interested, check that out. We checked out a rope swing. That should all be in the vlog, though. So, hopefully that vlog's coming. I'm not going to spoil too much more of it. But I got sunburned. The point is, I got sunburned. And what I learned is that... Contrary to popular belief, or at least what worked for me, I should clarify... Maybe I should say don't try this at home because I'm not actually sure that it's good. But once you start peeling and you want to get rid of it, you know, because you're shedding like a snake. You should head down to the sauna. And I sat in the sauna for like an hour. And all my peeling for the most part has been taken care of. Still look like a splotched asshole, but whatever. Random bleach bleach patches. I think that was gonna happen no matter what. Oh it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? I'm going to be signing out. That covered everything going on with the old ass beat the shit motherfucking GTI. I will see you next Tuesday. Brop, brop.